are starting um, this massive baby food vlog. I do a few different recipes at the same time with the similar ingredients. And right now I am starting butternut squash with an apple puree. So I've got my apples over here. I'm going to be peeling them for a couple different recipes and then uh, boiling them in some water on the stove top. So my butternut squash, I cut in half. I took the, the stem off of it and then I just rubbed some butter on them. Okay, both of these and then sweet potatoes. I'm just making a simple sweet potato puree um, for baby tea. So these just get baked both at 400 degrees. There we go, oven's preheated. Poke them with a fork and going to pop them in. In the oven, flip your sweet potatoes um, about halfway through the cooking time. While those are in, I am going to um, peel and chop and core uh, four or five apples. Here's the apples and the blueberry for the apple spinach blueberry puree. Now stay with me if you guys get lost because we've got recipes going all over the place and I have several going at the same time. I hope it's simplified but if not all of the links are down below for these specific baby food recipes in the description. So all you have to do is click on them and you'll find them. Okay so I peeled and diced and cored my apples and washed them and then put in a cup of fresh blueberries from our garden. I bring that up to a boil with a little bit, about a quarter cup of water. I bring that up to a boil, let it simmer for about 10 minutes, then I pull it off the heat and I add a handful of baby spinach and then I stir it until that spinach welts. Then it's ready to cool for a little bit, go into the blender and then be put into ice cube trays and that one's done. So this is what tea's going to have for lunch today. Um, and we'll let it go and I will show you guys the next step. My um, butternut squash and my sweet potatoes are still cooking nicely. I'm going to peel and get the apples ready for that butternut squash um, recipe too. Butternut squash and apple puree. So anyway, okay, I'll see you guys in a few. Okay, so I boiled my apples and blueberries. It looks like this when it's done. Maybe spinach, like um, half of a handful about there. Okay, and then you're going to stir this until it welts. Then I'm going to throw it in my blender and puree it. And I'll show you guys when I dump it into my ice cube trays. Now, you want to let it cool after you blend it for a little bit. Um, you can put it into a, a bowl, a glass bowl or something to cool it down. Um, preferably something with a pour spout. It will make it easier to put into your ice cube tray. So I will show you guys that step in just a second. So the blueberry, spinach, apple puree is all done. And she just had it for lunch and she loved it. So I would have filmed it but she was screaming because she was so hungry. Then you just pour it into your ice cube trays like that. I let it cool in a glass, like I said, a glass measuring cup. It has a pour, it makes life a little bit easier. That's it. Then you freeze it for 24 hours and pop them out. All of these purees will be frozen for 24 hours. Then they pop out like ice cubes and you put them in their own Ziploc freezer bags, labeled, and they're good for three months. So I just pulled my sweet potatoes and my butternut squash out of the oven and I am, I let them sit for a little bit, about 10-15 minutes. Just taking my skins off of my sweet potatoes. I actually think these were yams. I buy yams. But just call them sweet potatoes to simplify things. And then I'm going to put them in the blender. Just add a little bit of water. And then you can um, blend them, puree them up to the consistency that you want for your baby depending how old they are. I have my sweet potatoes or yams in my blender. It's steaming hot. And as a treat I just add some butter for baby tea. She a little bit of butter. It spoils her. Yes, it does. It gives her a little flavor. What? Talk about unorganized. Everything you touch You guys is should see the behind the scenes. Broker. <laughs> Okay guys, so for the butternut squash and apple puree, I just made a little applesauce. We have a blender that does a good job of blending the applesauce for us so we didn't mash it. But we just peeled, sliced, cored, 
and uh, cooked it in a tiny bit of water for about 10 minutes, let it boil. I have my um, butternut squash peeled out of the skin, I just peeled it with a spoon, threw it into my blender, and now we're going to add the apple, my assistant, I have an assistant, we're going to add the apple sauce, not really, but more or less applesauce, give me a spoon into the blender and then we're just gonna blend it and that's it. Oh yum. It smells so good, right? Oh, so good. This kid eats better than we do. Anyway, I did add, when we were blending it, I added a little bit of cinnamon to it just to introduce her to a new flavor. She's actually gonna have this for dinner tonight, so I'm gonna put a little bit in a mason jar with the lid and I'll show you the mason jar and the lids that we use. Yeah, here they are. Thank you, boyfriend. We got these little white lids in the in the canning section. You can find them anywhere probably about this time of the year. And then they just screw on into a regular mason jar. Um, and it's awesome. We used the tiny mason jars for when she was just starting out, not eating very much. And they worked great. I also keep some baby cereal in this in her baby bag at all times. That way if we need cereal, just for thickening things or whatever that... That is it. So there you go. This is the last of the first three recipes and then we'll start another three. I'm doubling this recipe. So I'm taking two bananas and then um, one cup of baby spinach and you're just throwing it into your blender. So here we go. See how easy that was? And it's so beautiful. So here's the taste test on the big girl. Hot? Nope, not hot at all. Bananas and spinach. I have this every day. <laughs> you love it? Yeah. Then it's baby approved, the big sisters approved. Over here I've got my next recipe already started. Um, this is plums, or prunes, I'm sorry. This is prunes that I'm making. And I buy my prunes in the bulk section of the grocery store. I didn't measure how many prunes. I just I just bought a small bag. Um, and then I, you just cover it enough with water. Really this is why I love making your own baby food because you can't screw this stuff up. Worst case, if you need more water, you just add it in when you're pureeing it in the blender. So, um, okay, so then, I, yep, I've got it. It's boiling over heat. I'm going to um, turn it down to low. And then just let it go for 15, 20 minutes till it becomes kind of more syrupy and then um, you let it cool a little bit and then you throw it in your blender. So while that is cooking, I'm going to prepare my next recipe, which is um, just steamed sweet peas. It's been about 10 minutes. They're doing really good. Just stir them every once in a while. It's starting to get a little bit thicker in their juices. So we're gonna keep them going for about 10 minutes more. My water in my steamer basket is boiling. So now I just buy these organic sweet peas from Costco. They're frozen. Um, again, such an easy baby food recipe. Just throw as many peas as you want into your basket. Cover it with a lid. Let it steam for about 10 minutes. Um, and then it's ready also to go in the blender. So two recipes going. Um, after, while my water is already hot and boiling, after the peas are done cooking, because they really won't take very long, I'm going to peel up some whole carrots and um, wash them, peel them, slice them, and then I'll put them in the steamer basket as well. We'll make up some baby carrot food for her. So, anyway, there we go. I've got one, one, two, three recipes going and one finished in a batter of about 25 minutes. So, it's going very quick. And it does work best if you prioritize. So while your steamer basket is already hot, you know, just keep steaming vegetables or um, things that, that need, a, need to be steamed. And you don't need a fancy baby food maker, uh, especially if you're on a budget. It saves a lot of money. Um, just, a, just a steamer basket on your regular pot and pan set works nicely. Okay, so my prunes are done cooking, and I checked my receipt. These are about three quarters of a pound of prunes, so not quite one pound. Um, and they just kind of are, are, I know it's hard to see with the steam, but they're kind of a syrupy, really thick sludge, I guess, when you, that's terrible to say, but when you stir them, um, then you know it's done. So I turn the heat off. They're going to cool for a while before I put them in the blender. My peas, my sweet peas are beautiful and a nice, pretty green, and they're ready to go in the blender. So I'm just going to plop them in. 
uh, while my water's still going from the peas, we'll just go ahead and throw the sliced carrots in. So hard, I'm not left-handed and they're just going everywhere. But that's okay, right? This is real life. <laughs> But seriously, this is so much fun to do. I would encourage you guys. So easy, so much fun. Um, it's I say it's cheaper than therapy because I just I look forward to days that I get to make um, baby food. So if you're gonna cook big batches like this for your little one, I would just recommend to have a lot of ice cube trays on hand. Um, so because those freeze for about 24 hours. So. You'll have to wait to do batches if you don't have very many of them. But anyway, my carrots are on, and uh, they're going to start steaming now. And here we go with the peas. I ended up adding a half cup to a cup of water to peas to get it to um, not be as thick. There's just a ton of fiber in sweet peas. and. Um, I wanted it to be able to pour easily, so you just keep, you just eyeball the water, uh, keep adding it until it gets the consistency you want. This is pretty, maybe I added too much, um, but then I just add baby whole grain oatmeal to it when I, when I warm it up for the baby, when I thaw it out. So, there we go, made a whole bunch. Train a half of peas. Here is the whole grain, multi-grain, Earth's Best, organic baby cereal that I add to uh, any of my baby foods to make it thicken up. There's another recipe down. Um, these are now ready. I'm going to rinse my blender out. Um, you don't have to wash it every single time. Just rinse it out. I'm going to throw my prunes in the blender and get those pureed, and I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, I think I got it pureed pretty good. And there is our finished prune sauce. I actually love this too, so I sometimes will thaw a couple cubes just for me. It's good for your digestive. Prunes are just good for you. Good for digestive health. and uh, So it's not just for babies. You could put these, on the, again, if you make smoothies as much as we do, these little cubes are awesome just popping them into your um, smoothies So in the morning. So my carrots are all steamed. And again, without burning myself, they're ready to go in the blender. I'm going to add a little bit of butter. So there they are. The carrots are all fluffy and whippy. That's why I add my butter too. It makes it taste good, but it also, with the sweet potatoes and the carrots, it makes it taste like a dessert if you like this sort of thing. And hey, I'll take that any day. So I'm just going to pour it into my ice cube tray. Got some left, so I'm going to put it into the leftovers, into um, a mason jar, and a baby tea can eat these. Okay, so there you have it. Another four recipes completed um, within an under an hour. And I've got my prunes. They just don't look very pretty in the ice cube tray, but that's okay. I got my carrots. Um, I got my sweet peas. And I got my spinach and banana. Now we are going to make the last three recipes um, of this series, I guess, of this vlog. I've got uh, on the menu is going to be a banana, a banana, a banana, a banana and mango oatmeal. Um, I'm cooking my water right now for the oatmeal. I'll explain that in a second. The second is a peach pear apple um, puree, and then the third is just my little one loves applesauce. It goes with everything too. So. I can add a cube of applesauce in with just about anything and it makes it good and she loves it. So those three is what we're going to be cooking now. Um, I've got my water. I'm doubling the oatmeal, mango, banana, and the pear, peach, apple purees um, just because it just sounded really good and I've got a ton of everything that, that it needs. Um, so anyway, I've got my two cups of water boiling. Um, this is doubling the recipe. And then I'm going to add one cup of oatmeal to that. We'll turn it down. Okay. Yeah, so let it just, um, you're going to turn it down to low and let it go for about 10 minutes, just simmering. 
to allow that oatmeal to get cooked up. I'm excited. I've never put oatmeal in her baby food recipe, so this is a first, and I think she'll like it. Okay, so next, while this is cooking, I'm going to start washing and peeling um, my apples and my peach and my pear and dicing my mango. So I'm just going to do all the prep work while the oatmeal is cooking. So my oatmeal is done cooking. I'm just going to throw it in. I've got my three apples. The other two are going with the pear and peach um, puree. But I've got my three apples. I just use pink ladies, guys. I use whatever kind of sweet apple is on sale. And I'm going to fill my pot of apples just shy of covering them. I had to run away. Let's get that baby up there. Turn some heat on. You really, you just bring it to a boil for the applesauce. And then you put it down on a simmer once it starts boiling and you just let it go for about 15 minutes. While that is good to go, I am going to finish, um, now I'm going to cut my mangoes and my bananas. I'm going to slice my bananas to go in the oatmeal puree. Got my two bananas for this recipe. Remember I'm doubling. You don't have to make this much if you don't want to. This is going to be so good. Here we go. Now I'm going to slice my um, peaches and peel them in that pear to go in with my apple peach pear puree. And my apples are still cooking down. You just stir them every once in a while for this just plain old applesauce. I might throw in a little bit of cinnamon into the blender with it. Okay, so I've got my peaches, my pears, and my apples all diced and ready to go in the pot. To your fruit, all you're going to add, because I'm doubling this, is four tablespoons of water. That's it. And then you're just going to let it boil. Well, I've got that going. The apple's finished. I'm going to dump it into my blender. like that it's done. I'm gonna let it cool in the blender for a little bit and now we're just gonna wait for this puppy to come to a boil, cook down, and then it will be ready to be pureed. Our pear, apple, peach mixture has all cooked and we are ready to blend it. I'm just gonna dump everything including the liquid into my blender. Okay so here is all of our baby food made. Those four trays that I just recently made, um, and then all of our frozen stuff that I walked you guys through on those recipes. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got a ton of ideas. I hope it simplified it and encouraged you uh, that you can make your own baby food. And I wish I hadn't waited so long with my first two girls, my third little girl, Tennessee, I'm finally doing it. And I'm kicking myself because I love it so much. Um, my freezer just is not big enough to hold. And I only have one baby. If I had triplets, I might be able to get my my fix on this, but it really has become something I look forward to and a hobby of making healthy food and saving my family money in the process. So um, I'm going to list the cost down, the, co the cost breakdown in the description below, um, what I paid for the ingredients as well as the grocery list. Um, actually all you need really are what I'm listing. So that will double as a, as a cost breakdown and a grocery list. And then the recipes to these baby food where I got my ideas, um, the recipes that I use are also um, in link form down below so you can just click on them and uh, let the blog owners know if you leave a comment that uh, we sent you and just highly recommend this. Have fun with it. Uh, set aside, you know, an afternoon. Gosh, for all this food, it was an afternoon um, time that it took. So even half a day. And I just put on my Pandora, my music, and I just enjoy it. So baby loves it. It's just an awesome experience. So thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to our channel because um, as my daughter is almost nine months old, as she continues to grow, I'm going to get that pouch system. You can order it on Amazon. Um, it's kind of like the pouches that they suck out of from the grocery stores. Those are really expensive. So it's a DIY version of that. You fill your own pouches with the purees as they get older. So even going into preschool, I will pack these. And I've thought about it for my older girls for um, snacks for school. So and even if I can find a way to get it into me, I love it. I love it. The sweet potato with um, 
puree with a little bit of butter in it is my absolute favorite. It comes out like a soup in our blender. So subscribe and uh, let me know what you guys thought of this video. And I just thank you. Thank you, thank you for coming along. And I hope this helped. Okay, see you next time.